Hello, welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, warm welcome. In today's video, I want to answer the question, what is a random variable? But before that, I would like to ask you to support this channel, first of all, by hitting the subscribe button just there. And thank you for that. Uh, random variables are tools which are used by engineers who need probability and statistics in their calculations. But uh, to answer the question, I want to start by two small questions. The first one, question number one, is uh, what is a constant? So after understanding a constant, and answering the second question, then we will jump to the main question for today. So a constant is something that is fixed. Often we use symbols like two, if we say two is a constant or three. So those are constants which they represent something known and they are Everywhere you will go, you will see that two it represents something already we know and we know its value. Some engineers they use constants like a pi, or you can have in a problem, uh, depending on how it has been defined, we can have a constant like a c or another letter like a k. But if we, they are defined as a constant, so they will be used as something fixed. So we can uh, use constants in our calculations. Remember the calculations we have seen in, in one of our previous videos. If you add, for example, two constants, you will obtain another constant. Like a 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 5 is a constant. If you take a 3 times 2, that six, six is another constant, it's something which is fixed. So now, I think, I hope you understand now what is a constant. And now let's jump to the second question. What is a variable? A variable is uh, something that varies. So it's, we use also symbols to represent variables, as uh, many of you, you know the famous X. If we write uh, uh, an expression like Y equals to 2X plus 1, here in this relation, uh, we have Y and X, they are variables, while 2 and 1 are constants. They are fixed. They are not changing. But we can change x because it's a variable. If we replace x by a number, a constant, you see y also will, will change. So variables, they can take either one value or many values. Often in a relation, they are not known. But when we are trying to solve that relation or that problem, where we can obtain the value of those variables. So we see that variables and constants, they are different because constants are already fixed, while variables can vary, can change. Often for variables, mathematicians, they use uh, letters and uh, we know the famous X, Y, Z, but if you ha need more variables, you can have them. And uh, before answering the, today's question, I have another question for you. Because in this series, there is a series called Finance Engineers, and we talk also about money. We make money, we learn theory and the practice. We put practice in our everyday lives. My today's question to you is, is your monthly 
income constant or is it varies so if it's constant i would like to ask you also to think how you can make it a variable but that grows because if it's constant that there is a uh, something that must be changed okay think on that question is my monthly income a constant or it varies how if it's a variable how does it vary now after seeing the difference between a constant and uh, a variable let's answer today's question what is a random variable a random variable it's of course it's a variable but it varies like randomly there is no defined plan so when we are making an experience or an event that doesn't have a fixed plan so we know maybe all possible results what will happen all possibilities we can have but there is no fixed answer for constant we have seen that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 everywhere we, we will go we will obtain the same result either you are in Brazil or in Australia or in China or in Canada 2 plus 3 is always equal to 5 but we can have a look on a, an example of uh, something that will give us not a, a fixed result imagine a, a woman who is pregnant she knows that the baby will be either a boy or a girl so in that case a pregnant woman we know that he is not going to have a baby who is either a boy or a girl there are other possibilities like having twins so we know all possibilities but we are sure that a woman who is pregnant she's not going to give birth uh, 12 children at once okay let's have another example of a something that varies the answer or the output of our experience that varies and that variable is also random let's have a die that has six uh, faces when we play with it we don't know which face is going to be on top but we are sure that it's either one or two or three up to six because there are six possibilities but we are not sure so we know the results it's not like a two plus a three equals to five but we know okay the answers are going to vary if i'm, I'm not going to obtain one it will be maybe two or three or four or five or six but eight cannot be one of the answers another example it's a it's a, it's a coin a coin here has two faces there is head and tail so if we play with it either you are going obtain head or tail that's why like in football when they are going to to play they the, they have two teams if the teams are three maybe they are choosing which one is going to start i'm sure they cannot use a coin because a coin has two two faces so these are three examples either a pregnant woman we see have a random variables that varies either we can consider just two cases boy or or, or, or girl or maybe twins we can consider a coin we have also two possibilities or a die we have six possibilities so all these answers that we see they are changing randomly they varies without any fixed plan which is not defined we know all possible outcomes or possible results but we don't we are not hundred sure which one is going to 
up here. So I hope with these three examples, you understand what is random variables. If we understand the difference between a constant and a variable, and then we, we see what a variable, a random variable, how it varies. So if there is more questions on this, you can write in the, in the comment section below. I will uh, answer to all questions and thank you for watching until the end. And please, I remind you to go and hit the subscribe button if you have not yet done it. And uh, thank you very much to be here. And once again, I end wishing you love and money. See you next time. Take care. Bye.